Okay, we're back to Smoky Treasure Island. It's been a little bit since I've made a video. And I realized I never finished this, so let's get back to it. So remember, we were doing the chores, and the last one was to build your own ship model. I'd like to know one thing, Mr. Arrow. Yes, sir. Who hired this crew? Well, this is without a doubt the seediest lot of cutthroats, villains, and scoundrels I have ever seen. I will uncover the responsible party, Captain, and believe me, that party will take 40 lashes and walk the plank. I know, Mr. Arrow. How about one lash and we make him walk the plank 40 times? No lashes and no plank. Aye, aye, sir. How about a stern talking to and a couple of shame on yous? That's more like it. Good day, Mr. Arrow. Good day. Mm -hmm. Before we go to the um, build your own ship model, first we're gonna play a little game. Hi ho, Hawkins. Here's a little game I picked up on my travels around the world. When ships want to communicate, they wave flags like the ones you see before you. Match the flags on my desk, and we'll see what stories they have to tell. One simple rule: you can only match a flag that is free on either its left or right side. Go ahead, give it a go. Okay. You can only match them on uh, free on either left or right side. You cannot be in the middle. It's like that. Uh, see. It's pretty easy. Sometimes you run out of matches. And then you get a picture. Congratulations, Hawkins, you did it! Usually it's not that easy, but we got lucky. We're not going to read Miss Piggy's diary. Or, is that his diary? No, it's Cameron's diary. Miss Piggy's over there. Now let's build our own ship model. If you're going to be a sailor, Hawkins, you're going to have to learn all about the main parts of the ship. Building Don't models why. is a good way to do that. Okay. So now you just click on the parts. The front of the ship is called the bow. Did you say bow? Thank you, thank you, thank you! Ah. Yeah, Bob. Uh, the bow has that nifty shape Bobby. to help the ship pass through the water easily. I'm just telling you all these different bits about the ship. This is really the tall pole toward the rear of the deck is called the mizzen mast. Yeah. It's blowing in midair. <laughs> Located at the stern is the helm. That's the raised area from which you steer the ship. Now, the word helm is also used to describe the ship's steering wheel. Hawkins at the helm. I like the way that sounds. The small boat attached to the side of the ship is called the jolly boat. A jolly boat? Funny, it doesn't look like a jolly boat. I sort of expect it's streamers and balloons. You know, that kind of stuff. Well, uh, not exactly, Squire. You see, the jolly boat is used for transporting the crew from ship to shore. The main body of the ship is called the hull of the ship. You're right, Captain. That's a hull of a ship. Ah! The main deck is found on the top of the hull and runs the length of the ship. Hey, educational Sweet Town 98 video. We have to learn about ships. The tall pole toward the front of the deck is called the fore topmast. Hey, I think one of those flags is uh, one of the ones that was in that game. Attached to most bows is an intricate wood carving called a figurehead. The Hispaniola yeah, 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 yeah. We don't care. A couple of ancient sailors named Statler Come on. The long pole coming out of the bow is called the bowsprit. Yeah. It's used for fastening the lines that are why. attached to the sails. Okay. The rear of the ship is called the stern, and stern also happens to describe Mr. Arrow, our distinguished first mate. The captain's quarters, where we are now, is located in the stern on this ship. Okay. Located at the base of the stern is the rudder. The rudder sits in the water and helps guide the ship through the water. Without its rudder, a ship would not be able to stay on course. Hmm, of course. 
Okay, just give me one last piece. The tall pole in the center of the deck is called the main mast. Towards the top of the main mast is the crow's nest. And, uh, no, Squire, it's not for crows. It's for sailors to get a prizes. Okay, maybe that wasn't the last thing there. Ah! That's a cargo hold. It must always be accessible to the main deck. Love the triumphant music. Guess we can now spin around. Love the squeaking. Okay, let's go. Aw, oh, good work there, Hawkins. You've built a ship for the of sailing the seven seas. A ship in this shape is a ship-shaped ship in my book. Now let me see how ship-shaped things are with the Hispaniola. Feel free to keep building. See you around. Ooh. How about let's not? Hmm. Wow. Night sure descends fast around here. What a beautiful evening for stargazing. Hawkins, yeah, the Chris one is sitting out the window is pure daylight. Care to take a guided tour of the northern sky? Any else knows that? I was one of the Yeah, Tim Terry. It is a beautiful night for sky watching. Oh, I don't recall inviting you up here, Mr. Silver. And I'm sorry, but I was just about to guide Hawkins through the stars myself. Well, what a shame. How about we let Hawkins down there? Ah, the sky's just jumping with stars, mate. Flint itself never stole such jewels. Take a gander. Oh, the way I see it, mate, the night sky is like a sea, and the stars are like ships floating upon its calm waves. This oh, part of the game, I've learned a lot. I learned a lot about constellations from this. Constellations. Huh? Huh? Point out the constellations in the sky. And I'll tell you what I've learned through all my years on the seven seas. Okay, so this is pretty much connect the dots. And he'll tell you what Leo, they are. The liar, the musician of the night sky. He serenades the seekers of fortune and adventure. Listen for his song, Hawkins. Hope you guys know what this one is. You found it, matey. Ursa Major, the Great Bear. Some call it the Big Dipper, because it also looks like a soup spoon. Ha! <laughs> Leave it to an old sea cook to know that, eh, Hawkins? What if any of you have ever heard the constellations they mention? Comment if you have. Orion, the Heavenly Hunter, a giant among men, they say. He had a suit yes, of they are all Muppets gold. that they're showing. Sounds like a suit I might like to alter for myself, don't it, Hawkins? Pegasus, the great flying horse. But don't believe everything you hear, Hawkins. From here, he looks like a goat. Yes, yes he does. Hercules. He's known now as a great hero, but he was once a madman. Killed his own children in a fit of madness, yeah. I hear. But don't you worry about madmen. Not like the Disney dude, huh? Hercules. 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 The hero. Why is that guy the familiar? Might have been. Perseus killed the snake-haired Gorgon Medusa, who could turn men to stone with just one glance. They say he did it for love, but he may have done it for profit. A hero? Who can say? But legend has it that he was indeed a sea cook of the ha! What a beautiful night. Sweet dreams, Hawkins. Good night, Hawkins. Okay. Do a little more sorry using your Kermit's version. Libra, the symbol of justice. The scales maintain a perfect balance. Remember this well, Hawkins. The scales of justice prevail over all. Honesty and loyalty keep the scales balanced. Okay, guys, I'm going to come back to this 
in the next video. Okay.